Classification models are useful for predicting categorical variables, and regression models help with predicting continuous variables. In this example, we have a dataset containing information about customers who were either interested in or rejected a promotion. We want to create a classification model that will help us to identify the customers that are most likely to be interested in a similar promotion in the future. First, we need to select the data source for the model. In this case, we'll use a data source called Promotions that's based on the Census01 CSV file that's one of the samples installed with Infinite Insight. You can follow the same steps using the Census01 dataset. Next, we need descriptions of the data to correctly identify the characteristics of the variables. We can do this by getting Infinite Insight to analyze the data and then manually validate the results, or by loading an existing description file. For this example, we'll load a description file. Here we can see the variables from the data source, along with their details. The interested variable is automatically identified as the target. For this example, we'll include all other variables in the model and not use a weight variable. Here we can see a summary of our modeling parameters. Now we'll generate the model. Here we can see an overview of the modeling results. In the nominal targets area, we can see that the target key is 1. This means that we want to use the other variables to predict which customers will have a 1 in the interested column, indicating that they accepted the promotion. We can also see that 23.95% of customers accepted the promotion, and the rest rejected it. Here we can see the predictive power and prediction confidence of the model. The predictive power of decimal 8073 means that the model is approximately 81% perfect. The prediction confidence of decimal 9956 means that the model can reliably be used against new datasets. Now we'll look at the graphs generated by the model. Here we can compare the performance of our model, represented by the blue line, against the performance of a hypothetical perfect model, represented by the green line, and against the result of random guessing, represented by the red line. Next, we'll look at the variables that are most closely associated with customers who were interested in the promotion. Here we can see the variables that played the biggest role in predicting which customers were interested in the promotion. Marital status, occupation, and capital gains were the top three predictors. Now we'll save the model and then apply it against a new data set. We'll save the model to the same location as the original data source. Now we need to enter a file name for the model. Now we're ready to apply the model against a new data set to predict which customers are most likely to be interested in a new promotion. First, we need to select the dataset we want to apply the model against. Next, we need to specify how we want to apply the model. For this example, we'll select the decision option, which is useful only for classification models. This will generate an output that includes the predicted interest value, 1 or 0, for each record in the new dataset, along with the probability that the predicted result is correct. On the classification decision screen, we can set the conditions under which we want the model to predict that a customer will be interested in the promotion. The threshold area allows us to specify if we want to base the threshold on a percentage of the population, a percentage of the target that we want to ensure we predict correctly, or a score threshold. By default, the threshold is set to the percentage of the population that was interested in the promotion in our original dataset. In this case, 23.9% of the analyzed records had a 1 value in the interested column. Note that this corresponds to a score threshold of decimal 162, meaning that every record with a score of decimal 162 or greater will be given a 1 value in the interested column. The confusion matrix area allows us to see the numbers and percentages of accurate predictions generated by our model. Here we can see that our model correctly predicted 16.31% out of the 23.9% of the population that were interested in the promotion, and correctly predicted 68.55% out of the 76.1% of the population that was not interested in the promotion. This gives the model a correct classification rate of 84.86%, as indicated in the metrics area. Now we'll apply the model against our new dataset using the default settings. 
Here we can see the output generated by applying the model. Note that the interested column is empty because this is the column we're trying to predict for our new data set. The RR interested column contains the results of calculations based on all of the available variables that allowed the model to predict whether or not a customer would be interested in the promotion. The decision RR interested column contains the prediction for each record. Recall from the previous screen that any record with a value over decimal 162 in the RR interested column would be assigned a one value. The probe decision RR interested column indicates the probability that the model assigned the correct value in the decision RR interested column. You now know how to perform a classification or regression analysis in SAP Infinite Insight. For more SAP Business Intelligence tutorials, visit sap.com/learnbi.